Today in the Joy of Editing, we're continuing to look at all of the filters in Nick 8 color effects, and today it's the white neutralizer filter. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Last week, we looked at Remove Color Cast, which is great for neutralizing unwanted tints across an image. Today, we're focusing on white neutralizer, which is all about getting your whites and neutral areas looking truly white so the entire photo falls into place more naturally. I like to use this early in my workflow, right after my basic exposure tweaks before I move on to the more creative filters. And I've got several examples today so you can see exactly how it works in different situations. And here's a quick heads up. If you're thinking about Nick Collection 8 or any DxO software, you can grab 15% off new purchases with my code Dave Kelly. Links are in the description and you can try any app free first. If you use my links, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thanks for supporting the channel. Well, let's go ahead and dive in. I have this image of some windows in a building reflecting the sky. Now, if you look closely, you can see a bit of yellow in the whites, and we're gonna use the white neutralizer filter to remove that. I've loaded up the white neutralizer filter into the filter stack over here, and right now it's shut off. Let me turn it on and show you the default setting. I'm gonna turn it on right now, and you can see already it has neutralized the whites. Now, if you look over here to the right, you can see color. We have a color picker and we have a color swatch right here. If you click on the eyedropper tool and come over and hover over any part where you have a color cast in whites and give it a click, it'll select that color and neutralize it. If you click this square, depending if you're on a Mac or Windows machine, you're going to get like a color wheel and you can see the color that the white neutralizer filter is using a yellow color here. Now for this particular image, it kind of worked out. This is not an auto thing. You actually have to pick the color cast to neutralize it with the picker tool. And then you could click anywhere on the color wheel to alter that color, give it more or less or go to a different color and change it. And then you just click OK. I'm going to click cancel for now. Now, like I said, we got lucky on this image because this yellow color is the color that we needed to correct. And if I shut this off, you can see there's the before. You can see the yellow cast in the whites. And if I turn this back on, it's gone. But here's the way I like to use this filter. I like to take the adjust tool image slider, take it the whole way off. That's for adjusting the entire image the color cast and then neutralize whites, take it the whole way off. This way I can see the actual cast in the image and then I'll click on the picker and then just go over a white area or any neutral type area and click and it should find the color cast. In this case, if I click right here, you can see it hasn't really found the color cast. So here's what I like to do. I know there's yellow in here. So what I'm going to do is drag this up into yellow like this and click OK. Now we don't see a change, but watch what happens when I drag the adjust tool image slider to the right. See, I'm removing that color cast. And maybe right about there looks pretty good. Now I can go to neutralize whites and drag this over and remove any of that yellowish cast in the whites. But then what I'll do is come back and click on this button again and the color wheel comes back up. So I can increase that yellow if I feel I need a stronger effect. Click OK. And that looks a little bit better. So I just come here and tweak. So you have to do a little bit of tweaking. But we had a yellow color cast. And so the color wheel is moved into yellow and we got it. And now I'm going to click OK again. And then you could just tweak the adjust tool image adjustment. Give it more, give it less, maybe right about here. And again, for neutralized whites, it's just focusing on the whites and just adjust that to maybe right about there. Now, we also have shadow and highlight protection if we need it. I don't really need it on this image, so let me shut this off. Here is before. You see that yellow cast? And now here is after. Now, let's look at several more examples. And as I do this, you'll get the hang of what I'm actually doing here. 
Here's our next example. And we could clearly see that I have a yellow cast in here, okay? Now, my starting point is, again, to take the adjust all image slider to 0% and neutralize whites to 0%. It's a great starting point. And then I click on the color picker tool and just find a white area and give it a click. And again, when we click on this swatch right here, we can see it hasn't really found anything, but I know this is a yellow cast. So what I'll do is just drag this up into yellow and I'm going to try like right about here. It's a good starting point and click OK. And now I'll take a just whole image. I'll drag this to the right watch and I'll remove that color cast. You see that? If I go too far, I'll start to get a blue cast, but we don't want to go that far. We just want to neutralize that yellow, maybe right about here and then neutralize whites. So let's drag this to the right and and make sure those whites are nice and white, something like that. Now, if we need to, we could come and click on this button and make this more yellow, less yellow, you know, whatever we think. I wish when you chose a different color, you would see the change take place in the image. It doesn't until you click OK. That's something I wish Nick would change. All right, now I changed that a little bit, but I can take a just whole image and drag this to the right a little bit more to maybe right about here and neutralize whites. Let's drag that up a little bit. Now let's shut this off. Here's before, see the yellow color cast? in the whites and now here's after and now let's move on to another example now in this image we can see an overall like a lavender color cast in the whites which looks kind of cool in this image but what if we wanted to neutralize it now let me turn on the white neutralizer filter and see the default settings see it is more lavender now so it's actually making it worse so you can't really go by that that's why i take this slider the whole way off and this slider the whole way off this way when i click on the picker and i go into the whites it's going to find the color and a lot of times it doesn't find the color but i know that's more in the lavender so i'm going to take this down into this area right here and click OK. And now I'll move this to the right and adjust for the whole image. And right about there looks pretty good. And now let's neutralize the whites. I'll drag this over to maybe right about here. I'll shut this off. Here's before and here is after. So if you want to clean up those whites, this white neutralizer is great for that. And don't forget, you always have shadow and highlight protection if you need them. And now for the next example. Now I could clearly see a little bit of a lavender purplish color cast on this image. Let me turn on the white neutralizer and let's look at the default setting. Okay, it's actually gotten worse. So again, what I like to do is just take this adjust whole image slider the whole way to 0%. The same with neutralize whites and then click on the picker. And I'm going to pick like right here. And now let's click on this button. And now we can see it has picked that color cast right there. This time it worked. I'm going to click OK. And now let's adjust whole image. I'll drag this to the right. See, we can clean that up. I'm going to go up to about here. Let's go with neutralize whites. Let's drag this to the right. I'm going to take it over to right about here. Let me shut this off. Here's before, here's after. See, it cleaned it right up. Now I think it's affecting my highlights too much, so I'll take the highlight protection slider and drag it to the right over to right about here looks pretty good let me shut this off here's before and here's after as you can see it's not that hard to use but it does a really good job and now for the final example i can see a slight yellow color cast on this coat right here let's check out the default setting let me turn on the white neutralizer here's the default setting yeah and that cleaned that right up because you see it defaults with like yellow so it's assuming a lot of images will have a yellow color cast and if it does a lot of times you're going to get it right out of the gate with the default setting maybe what i'll do here is increase the adjust whole image just a little wee bit maybe to right here neutralize whites so let's take this to the right a little bit more maybe to right about here let me shut this off here's before you can see that slight yellow color cast i'll turn it on and here is after if you have a color cast in your whites the white neutralizer is a game changer. It's really great. Sometimes you want a color cast in your whites for artistic reasons. Other times you don't. And when you don't, this is the filter to go with. And I like to use it at the beginning of my workflows. And there you have it, the white neutralizer filter found in Nick 8 Color Effects. I hope you give it a try. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. 
If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, click all so that you receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.